Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. Apple has released iOS 16 Beta 3 to all developers today. Can about 1.3 gigabytes of my iPhone Lone Pro Max. I'm off with 12 Pro Max and I installed it. The build number I read out loud is 20A5312G. See, that's the build number right there. And there are quite a few changes I found in this update today, small and big. So let's get started. On the lock screen, you'll notice that when you hit the customize button here, click the texts, you'll notice that previously in iOS 16 beta 1 and 2, we had only six options for the text. Now we've got eight. So two new options for text for iOS 16 beta 3, which is this one. And these two are brand new, I think. Yep. So these two are the new ones. So pretty interesting. And this globe icon for where we can change the text to Arabic, like that. Or I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. I'll keep it at the Arabic one here. You can see now that one, that icon has now changed to black. With dark mode on, it goes to white. So, nice little options there. And on the astronomy face here, sorry about that. So on the astronomy face, I'm not sure if this is new or not, but you can see we have, this is an, my example location, I did not my current, but we have it set to current location now, it'll now display a green dot showing you where you are. For my example location, it's set to Cupertino. The settings go to general, about. So previously on iOS 16 beta 1 and beta 2, when you click the iOS version, you can see it, it basically opened up a separate window, like a window came off on the bottom. But now on beta 3, you'll notice that it's now its own tab now. So you see it's now a tab. Instead of a window like beta 1 and 2, it's now a tab with this redesigned card showing you the version and build. In settings, go to wallpaper. You'll notice that on iOS 16 beta 3, there's now a new card telling you, you get that you can change your wallpaper for the lock screen. It says, change your wallpaper for the lock screen. From your lock screen, tap and hold to add, edit, or switch between different wallpapers and widgets. So nice little demo card. So in case people don't get what tap means, basically they can just see this demo card right here to see exactly how it works. In settings, we go to Safari, scroll down to where it says tabs, you'll notice that now when I was 16 beta three, we now have a blue outline around the icon. Previously, it just had a check mark right here with no outline, but Apple's now added a blue outline on your selection to make it easier for you to see which one you selected. So previously on beta one, two, and iOS 15, you could see it was a great thing with just a check mark, but now on beta 16, beta three, they've added an outline. In settings, go to accessibility, Scroll down to live captionings, and you can see there's a new icon for live captionings. Previously, it looked like this right here, a little paper with the audio, but now it's a text to bubble with the audio icon in it. Nice little change. And when you click into it, go to appearance, you'll notice we got a few new options here. First of all, we have a new option for bold text. Previously, that did not exist on beta one and two. Second, we now have a new option for auto capacity. So now I says, it says here, reduce the visibility of live captioning's button when not in use. So I'm not sure what that exactly what that means. I didn't even see, I've never seen a button for it at all, but I think I know that does. It's kind of like the assistive touch where you can make it to touch more visible or less visible, basically. Last change in the settings, when you go down to Wallet and Apple Pay, scroll down, You'll notice that the new tab or option toggle for online payment says use Apple Pay when available. And it says your saved cards and Safari Auto will be verified with payment network for compatibility with Apple Pay. So I'm not sure exactly what it does. I think it's part of the Apple Pay later new feature for iOS 16, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what it does. So very interesting there. No, that's basically it for this video. So I basically, from last time, I'm, I have found a lot of changes, but I may have not found everything, but I found most of them. So that's basically it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. Peace out.